You're wrong, Father. And I resent your assumption that I wanted to sleep with Teresa. Oh, come off it, Ethan. Don't tell me that while you and Teresa were at the ballet, you didn't have one thought, not even a fleeting desire to take her to bed. Absolutely not. For God's sake, why? What were you thinking? You know very well I was at the ballet representing the family because it was a Crane Industries event. I told you, Gwen was working. Mother insisted I take Teresa. Yes, yes. You told me all that. Unfortunately, I believe you never laid a hand on her. Unfortunately? What's that supposed to mean? It means I wish you had at least given it a thought. It might prove that you have some of my blood in your veins and not just your mother's ice water. I am a man, father, with blood in my veins. I have desires just like any other man. But I reserve my passion only for Gwen, the woman I'm going to marry. That's just the point. Of course you're going to marry Gwen. I mean, that's the very reason that you should sow a few wild oats while you're still free. Look, that may be the way you did things back in your day, but it's different now. I don't need to sow any oats. Think twice, my boy, before you commit yourself. I mean, you think about that curvaceous and lovely Teresa. She wouldn't say no to you. I think she would. She knows how I feel about Gwen. In fact, she helped me make the decision to ask Gwen to marry me sooner than later. Teresa did that? Yes. And as I told you, she's in love with another man. And even if I was a player, I would not try to take a woman from another man. Have I made myself perfectly clear, Father? Oh, I understand what you're saying, Ethan. I'm still not convinced it's the truth. And we'll go no further than this room if you tell me. Tell you what? The truth. There must have been a moment when you fantasized about taking Teresa to bed. 